I hope this is gonna be good. The Raid Redemption is about a SWAT team that is infiltrating an apartment building owned by this gangster, this guy who's into drugs and just he's a terrible guy. You get a few scenes to establish that this guy is the scum of the earth. This SWAT team is infiltrating this building with one goal, take out all the people, find that guy, bring him to jail if possible, take him out if need be. And the entire movie is essentially one gigantic action scene with each floor being a new level of chaos. This movie stars a bunch of people who are extremely good at ripping off each other's faces, kicking, punching, stabbing, shooting, every little thing you could possibly think of flipping, dodging, and the lead man in this movie is pretty much the most ballsy person who ever walked the planet. And he is amazing in this movie, as is the fighting in this movie. Holy crap, I have not seen action scenes this extensive in such a long time. This movie is a great ride. The action scenes in this movie are so fantastic. It's like, okay, we're gonna infiltrate the building now. Suspense. Oh, there's men with guns. Okay, shoot out. Oh, one of these guys just came out of the wall. Okay, fight this guy really quick. Oh, there's a room with like 20 people. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna fight them all and win. These people are crazy good stuntmen. This is one of the best action movies I've seen in a while. The action's fantastic, the choreography is brilliant, but there are a few things that are wrong with this movie in my opinion. Basically, whenever the movie tries to stray away from being an action movie, we get some shots of the main guy at the beginning. He's working out, we find out he's got a pregnant wife at home. Okay, we've seen that before. It's a cliche. All right. The scenes inside the apartment building are suspenseful and extremely exhilarating, but whenever the action stops and characters start talking with one another about their lives, no. I always like a little bit more depth with my action movies. I want to be able to feel for these characters. I really didn't feel for any of these characters. The action is amazing, okay? It really is great. But as for character depth, they're trying to flesh out the characters, not so much. Also, there might actually be too much action. Towards the end of the movie, I was actually like, <sighs> wow. But seriously though, this is a great action movie. I really, really liked it. There is a lot of action. It's really well done, extremely well choreographed. I'd recommend this movie for sure to action film junkies, to people who love kung fu movies. It's just that if you're looking for a movie where you can kind of feel more depth and weight to the people who are fighting, that might be disappointing to you. However, it's so exhilarating and so cutting edge and so well filmed. Just everything about the fight scenes is so impressive that you can kind of look through that a little bit and just view it as pure pulp entertainment. And this film definitely delivers. Although I don't know why the American title is The Raid Redemption. Redemption has no point to this movie at all. I like the original title, The Raid. I'm gonna give The Raid a B plus. It's a great action movie. It's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this movie. Do you guys have a favorite kung fu movie? Mine's probably The Matrix. In fact, it's definitely The Matrix. I know kung fu. Stay tuned this week, guys, because I'm gonna be putting up my Empire Strikes Back review with a special skit starring Yoda. <laughs> Look forward to that. Oh boy. And if you like this review, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuck my eyes. Nice.